If you've ever kept a garden, you're probably familiar with aphids, sometimes called plant lice. They're hordes of tiny, soft-bodied insects swarming your rose bushes and killing your green beans. But they also do some stranger things to help themselves survive. Things like pooping sugar and cloning themselves and giving birth to pregnant babies. The 4,000 plus members of the aphididae family infest plants all over the world, and lots of people think of them as pests. Because aphids suck. Literally. They use their long, slender mouth parts, which work kind of like a straw surrounded by needles, to pierce tender plant stems and suck sap from the phloem, the tissue that ferries sugar and other nutrients through the plant. That sap is a plant's energy source, so a large colony of aphids can damage or even kill a plant by sucking it dry. Not only that, but when an aphid taps into a stem, it injects a tiny bit of saliva and can transmit potentially deadly viruses between plants. They're basically like the mosquitoes of the plant world. Now, plant sap is almost all sugar, so aphids need to eat a lot of it in order to get enough other nutrients. So they end up with way more sugar than they actually need. So much more, in fact, that they actually poop syrup. Technically, it's called honeydew, and lots of insects go totally nuts for it. Unsurprisingly, some species of ants actually set up a kind of farm managing large colonies of aphids to get their honeydew fix. It's a sweet deal for both species because the aphids get ant bodyguards to protect them from predators. Because if you taste like a jelly bean, you're gonna attract some attention from things that want to eat you. But the aphids don't just rely on the ants to protect them, they have a few defensive tricks of their own. Their main survival strategy seems to be making a lot of babies, and they're especially good at it because the females are parthenogenetic, meaning that they can reproduce a sexually. Instead of waiting to mate with a male in the spring and summer months, a mama aphid can cook up a whole bunch of cloned daughters inside of her. Now, parthenogenesis is pretty common among insects, but lady aphids have another reproductive shortcut. They give birth to live young, sometimes up to a dozen nymphs a day. This way, the aphids don't have to wait for the eggs to develop and hatch, and the next generation is quickly up and running. And in some species, all those daughter nymphs are actually already carrying more daughter embryos. In other words, some aphid babies are born pregnant. Babies having babies. An aphid mom could be carrying her daughters and granddaughters at the same time. Nymphs that are born pregnant still need to mature to the adult stage before they can give birth, but development can take as little as a week in good conditions, so tens of generations of aphids can spawn in just a couple of months. Sometimes, though, the aphids' environment changes and good food becomes scarce. In that case, aphids can change their reproductive strategy, producing special baby aphids that can grow wings, and therefore have a better chance of finding a new place to live. Most most aphids are wingless, which makes sense. It takes a lot of energy to build a decent pair of wings, and since most aphids spend their whole lives just on a single plant, they get around just fine by walking. But if their plant starts to die or gets too crowded, some female aphids can start giving birth to offspring with wings. Winged aphids aren't great flyers, but they usually don't need to travel very far, and once they find a new host plant, they'll start a whole new colony. As lush plants start to naturally wither in autumn, some aphids start producing both female and male offspring, so then the aphid colony can start reproducing sexually again. In some species, these sexually viable males and females don't even have mouth parts for eating. Their only job is to make babies. The aphids mate and lay hardy, fertilized eggs that can survive through the winter on host plants. The following spring, those eggs hatch to produce wingless females, and the whole plant-killing, sugar-pooping, rapid reproductive cycle frenzy fires up again. So it's no wonder that aphid infestations are so common, they got some crazy survival skills. Thanks for watching this episode of SciShow which was brought to you by our patrons on Patreon. If you want to help support this show, you can go to patreon.com slash scishow, and don't forget to go to youtube.com slash scishow and subscribe. And they wriggle around inside of you like a worm while the bug probes around for blood vessels. Once it finds one, blood gets sucked up through the labrum and saliva is...